Alright guys, so the back at the cabin now, we were up there for three, three and a half, four hours. Um, didn't see anything of it except for squirrels. Heard some turkey, of course, when we're not turkey hunting. But just relaxed a little bit. I'm going to go explore. There's some places I haven't been up here in the mountains. And bring in the gun just in case I see anything. And then I'll come back for some lunch and then we'll go out hunting later. So let's see if we can find anything on this little adventure. Let's go for it. It's real neat looking in here. These rocks with all the moss on them. It's real cool. Alright guys, so now it's about 1.45ish. So now I'm going to uh, head up until it gets dark. I'm going to be in a different stand. So I'm going to get packed up and head on up there. And hopefully somebody will kill one tonight. Alright guys, I just got set over into the stand. I dropped my one hat that I was going to wear, so I have to wear this thick hat, because you know, we have to have that orange hat on. So, that sucks, and I'm not going back down and come back up, because um, this is one tall tree stand. No, thank you. But, I'm going to sit up here till sundown. I really like this. I've never been up in this stand. I've been down the ground. It's really cool up in the stand, so hopefully one of these tricky mountain deer will come on out and I pop them. Hopefully somebody will get some tonight. I want to cut a deer. I want to learn. I've never shot a deer nor cut it one, so hopefully I'll be able to learn tonight. Let's see. Well, guys, it's about 440 now. It's getting pretty dark, I think. I'm not getting down yet, but I figured I would say say this before it gets too dark because the GoPro doesn't pick up anything at all in low light. So I figured I would make this now. Um, I don't think I want to see anything. I haven't seen anything. Squirrels have been crazy though. There's just squirrels everywhere. Um, I'm going to probably get it until when it gets dark and then I'm going to get down and go on back and then we'll come on out and Tomorrow we can shoot a doe or a buck, so I'll have a little better chance tomorrow. We're going to do a drive, so let's finish this night up. Uh, quite the adventure. Uh, Arden, what are we doing? We're trying to put him on a deer drive. I hope we get one. Yeah. One. So we're walking down the road, we're going to head up the mountain, and then we're going to go and wait for them to drive the deer to us. Alright guys, so the drive, um, we only saw one deer, we didn't see it, it was way too far, going way too fast, couldn't get a shot off at it. Um, we went back to camp, relaxed a little bit, I just went exploring and I walked up the ridge um, where I've never been before, and I came up and I found a tree stand, a little ladder stand, so... Um, over there, um, there's some. So right now I'm in public land, and I'm pretty sure this is somebody's at the cabin stand. But right now I'm on pu pu public land, and right over there is private land. So I'm strapped in. It is a nice little open area for some deer. So hopefully some deer walk through, or a coyote, or a bear. Um, it's pretty quiet right now probably sit here for a few hours and then go back eat some lunch and then go out for a nighttime hunt so hopefully somebody gets a deer today all right guys i'm gonna st stay up in the stand for 10 more minutes and that will be an hour then i'm gonna go back down get some food then i'm gonna go on the other side of the mountain there's been so tons and tons of shots over there so hopefully the deer are moving over there get one so I'll see you later well now I'm going up and I'm gonna go get my spot for the night and hopefully I get a deer
a bear. Holy shit. Holy shit. I shot it. I just shot the bear. I just shot the bear. I just shot a bear. Yeah. Okay. So if you come up across the street, um, and you go up the trail where, like, there, obviously, we're going to build a house, I'm straight up above that. No, it's walking away, but I know I shot it. It came rolling down 25 yards from me. I won't. I won't. I am. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. I just shot a bear. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, yes, yes, please tell me, please tell me I got that on video, please tell me, oh my gosh, guys, I am shaking so bad right now, three bear just came walking in from over there, they came walking in, the one in front, oh, oh, I just shot a bear, I shot like, Oh, I shot a bear. There's so much blood. Oh, yep, I hit her. Well, guys, got some bad news. I definitely hit it. There was lots and lots of blood. It started getting thinner and thinner. But there was no puddles. It obviously never laid down. I didn't shoot it in a vital area. Um, we're thinking I just shot it. I think I shot it in the shoulder and got stuck in the bone or something like that, but it, we filed it for a mile, a whole frickin' mile, couldn't find it, so we don't think it died, I'm sorry, Jim. so we filed it all the way up the mountain, and then we saw that it went over the other edge, but we know that she just kept going, we don't think she died, we think she's gonna be fine, just didn't hit her correctly, so should probably heal, heal up and be fine, but I saw three bears. Um, that was scary, but um, had a really good weekend up here. Didn't see any deer, but saw a bear, three of them. Shot one. <laughs> Unfortunately, didn't get them. Rare thing you can find up here. That's like super rare. So hey, your first time come up here too. Fifth time, but first time for deer. You're fired. I'll come back up here anymore. But. Maybe I'll get her another time, but <sighs> thank you guys for watching. Wish I could have got the bear. Followed it for a while. Followed it for I think like an hour and a half, two hours. Just went a mile, so she didn't die. She's fine. But <sighs> thanks you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.